Okay, folks, welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force for the Sega Genesis. Aaron Sprock in here, and we're ready to confront the skeleton. Now, what, now, after you defeat everybody else, including the Dark Mages that stand as his guards, what you want to do is you want to put your strongest defensive tank up front against them here to open the assault. <clears throat> now, as you can see, even Gort only did like four, only did four damage to him. But where the majority of your damage is going to come from, if you're doing it right, is from magic, which I will have to demonstrate right now. See? 10 damage. Making making the skeleton very easy pickings at, um, for the next turn. Okay, I'm actually going to have Gort move away here, and I'm going to let Max have the final blow. No, wait, actually. Audrey's a little behind, so I'm actually going to have her deliver the final blow here. She, she just better not miss. There we go. Whoa, we could talk? Well, it could talk anyway. Okay, so we're gonna... Well, actually, we're gonna do a little lime transfer first. So, yeah, um... Henri actually gained, uh, Blaze... Uh, not Blaze, uh, her first level of freeze at level 5. And Low gained, uh, heal 2 at level 7. Yeah, I'm transferring everything here because there's a there's a lot of treasure in here, and I need to make some free space for him. But there we go. There's the object of our quest in here: the orb of light. And we have a power ring, which will be, which will be very useful in the battles ahead. And a boring, boring old medical, medical herb. <clears throat> okay, so... I'm actually going to give the power ring to... I think I'm going to give that to... Luke. Try to up, try to up his uh, attack power a little bit more to compensate for his relatively low defense, at least compared to Gore anyway, right now. And what's up? Well, first I better give... Back to Ken, and search. And a power staff, okay. Alright, that's that, folks. Let's get, that, let's get out of this blasted place. Alright, you, creep right, you creepy wizard. Here's your stupid orb. Oh. Well, at least he was put to the point. And now, now at the spot you want to use, the orb of light. And there we go. She looks like she could be pretty, pretty nice looking too. I'm already a hero with OP here, and it's already chap and it's um, and it's chapter two already. That didn't take very long, did it? Okay. I mean, I'm not a hero yet, I'm just a lowly swordsman. Yeah, she was blocking the door to make it talk to Ultron first. So now we're we so now we are officially the Shining Force. 
Uh, let's just quickly see if anybody has anything different to say. Nice typo there, by the way. Okay, before we go, we do have somebody we want to pick up. Oh, nuts. Back up the stairs. Hey, you. Oh, well, that was a sudden change of heart. Okay, about Arthur. When you, when you first pick him up, he really sucks. He's extremely weak. But he's also one of the, and he, If you train him up, he can also be one of the most powerful characters in the game. And as soon as he gets promoted to a paladin, you'll you'll understand why. But for now, let's just return to Rindo and see if maybe we can get the mayor to change his mind about lending us that ship so we can take off after Kane. Okay, Nova, what kind of nuggets of wisdom do you have for us today? That's not always good advice, Nova. Actually, sometimes that can be, that can be very bad advice. Sprite almost looks, looks almost exactly like Maze. I mean, if they weren't standing on the same screen together, you'd have a kind of a hard time telling them apart. But anyway. Yay, the circus is in town. The circus is in town. But we're not here for circuses. No sorry, Bob. We're here for ships! Well, that was easy. Now, gee, I wonder... What is different about this place from before? And what was the sun going on and on about when we first met him? Gee, I couldn't possibly guess, could you? Well, are we pushy? Totally non dramatic turn. Oh, hey, the enemy's already acknowledging us as a shining force. Fantastic. Okay, folks, lots of new enemies to look at in here. Mannequins are your physical attackers, and the evil puppets are your magic users. Don't take them lightly. The Dire Clowns are another rather physically um, imposing enemy. Be very careful when you're dealing with them. But this is our boss for the battle, and this is the Marionette. He can cast Freeze 3, which... Uh, I believe he hits up to 13 squares or something like that. I think it hits at least 10 squares worth of targets, potentially, so you have to be very careful when you're coming up to face him. And as such, this is this is considered a boss battle. So this battle will be shown in its entirety when I'm ready for it. However, I do want to do a little bit of level grinding first, especially with Arthur, who's our, who just joined us. I mean, seriously. 
Look at those hit points. Look at that defense. But anyway, folks, I'm going to be cutting out now, so I'm going to be doing some grinding. And when I'm ready, we will be at the start of this battle again, so I think you <coughs> And I was trying so hard not to cough. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. This has been Ellen's Frogman, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And next time, we'll be the start of the fast battle, boss battle against the marionette. So until then, I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you later.